Hi, my name is Molly Gold, home organization expert, and today we're talking about how to outsmart the holiday chaos when it comes to cards. Cards can be a huge time drain if you don't manage them well. At least that's what everybody thinks. So here are a few ideas to help you make sure that you get those holiday cards out on time and you enjoy sending them as much as you enjoy receiving them. Number one, plan ahead. You know I always start with plan ahead, but what you need to mark time on your calendar for when it comes to cards is making sure that you have the proper outfits if you're gonna do something that's staged. Um, whether or not it's a professional photographer really isn't the point. Just making sure that you have the right outfits, making sure that you have the right supplies so that when it comes time to sit down and write those cards, you've got your stamps, you've got the right color pens because you are going to spend time putting in a personal signature and perhaps even a note that makes all the difference. The art of a handwritten note is not dead. I'm here to tell you it is the most precious thing that you can give. And you're also gonna to wanna to make sure to give yourself enough time to get the cards printed. No matter which picture source you're gonna to go to, there are so many available online now. They're all very huge. You still need to give yourself enough time so that you can submit your photo card online from the source that is going to create it for you and that they have enough time to then print those cards and get them out to you so that then you can spend the time that you want sending them out. So what am I trying to say here? I like to have my cards ready to go Thanksgiving weekend, which means I need to have that card done two weeks before Thanksgiving weekend and sent to the maker so that they can then send them back to me and I have them ready in a box waiting to go for us Thanksgiving weekend. So it's all about backing yourself up on the calendar with those kinds of things. If you do that, holiday cards are a breeze. It's just one of those things that's better done earlier versus later. Why? Well, when your calendar is packed with holiday must attends like the holiday play and an activity at church and volunteering and all of the neighborhood parties, the last thing you're gonna have is two or three hours to sit down and sign cards. So what are you gonna do? Skip it. Don't skip it. It's as simple as this. Map it out, get the outfits figured out, get the picture taken, get that car designed online, let them create them and send them to you 99.99 times. Those are gonna be perfectly sent to you and you won't have a correction, but you've given yourself enough time that if there is a correction, they can take care of it. And then you can pick a time to sit down together as a family where everyone has a role, whether it's sealing the envelopes, putting on the stamps, addressing the cards on the front, and you have the role of signing them. It's a good thing those holiday cards, keep them coming. I hope these tips help you outsmart the holiday chaos when it comes to cards. And I'd love to know what kinds of things do you do to keep traditions alive and well around holiday cards. Leave us a comment and we will look forward to seeing you next time. Happy holidays.